Hey guys, what is up? It's Duncan, and today I'm going to be continuing along my series of the different, showing you guys some different features that are new in 3.0. Um, what I'll be showing you guys today is going to be some improvements to the mail application, some improvements to the uh, to the uh, iTunes, where it's showing you guys how you can download some different things, such as movies and videos, etc. I'm also going to really briefly show you guys the voice memos. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, guys. So let's get, let's get this one started. Okay, first thing I'm going to show you guys is the mail application. Now, if you guys have seen the mail, obviously you guys, I, I use the mail a lot. Um, but, oops, well, I didn't rather had that. Um, basically, what the mail, you know, the mail is everybody knows all about it. But there's a little bit of an enhancement, and you know, this looks like the normal. But when you scroll a little bit up. Look there, there's a search inbox. And this is kind of tied into Spotlight Search, although it's got a pretty big downside, and let me show you what that is. When you go to search your inbox, and of course it decides to be slow now, when you go to search your inbox, it you, do you see the top four things, the from, to, subject, all? That's all it searches, unfortunately. It does not actually search the contents of your email. For whatever reason, I have no idea, but like, let's say I search, oh, I don't know, and wow, it's being really slow. I can, yeah, I'm sure I can scroll through here, but you know, that's not showing me. That's just showing me what the title is. Now, I mean, even if I hit all, it's not going to make a difference because all it's going to do is read the from, to, and the subject. So that's a little bit of a downside, but still, it's it's an improvement and it does help when you're searching through. And also, here, let me just show you something that's a little cooler. Uh, I actually won't do it because it will lag this thing like crazy. But let's say I want to search. Um, I don't know. Let's just search something random. Just type a bunch of things in. Okay, now you see right there? Okay, it says continue search on server. Well, if I hit that, and like I said, I won't because it, <laughs> my computer will lag and the iPod will lag, but if I hit that, it will go ahead and go on to my mail, go on to the mail server, which is, I'm using Gmail, so it will go on Gmail and search for whatever I type in there. That's kind of a small thing, and again, it's only going to search through the subjects and the from and to, which it's not perfect, but I mean it, it's helpful. And uh, let me just go show you guys real quick. If you watch my previous video, you will know that this is kind of the way it is. But uh, if you search over, go over to the Spotlight Search, you can get all of that uh, the same way. So, like, let's say I search you, and I uh, yeah, see. Well, I guess not. Gonna, wow, it's fail. It decided not to. Wow, it's not searching my mail. That is just great. <laughs> great. Okay, come on. It's got to be right here somewhere. Okay, never mind. Well, it usually works. <laughs> Fail. Okay, well, let's go ahead. It usually, what when you go into Spotlight Search, I'm not sure if it's just lagging right now because I'm recording or what, but um, usually when you go into Spotlight Search, you can go ahead and search through your mail. That's the way I usually do it. There's no real point in doing it through your mail, but whatever. Now, I can't actually show you a demo of this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you voice memos. Um, now, let me just gonna, uh, tell you a little bit about it. Wow, that background looks terrible. Um, yeah. um, let me just tell you a little bit about it. Basically, what uh, what voice recorder is, is basically just a voice recorder. Um, now, obviously, you could buy these from the App Store, and I believe there are a couple of free ones. And But uh, basically, in 3.0, it comes with it, period. Now, I have not tested this out yet. Um, it, it comes with the iPhone 3GS, obviously, the iPhone 3G, the original iPhone, and the iPod Touch second generation. Now, if you have an original iPod Touch first generation, it will not come on your 3.0, and the reason is simple. The iPod Touch second generation, as well as all of the iPhone models, have had an audio in. Basically, the headphones could double as you could plug in uh, wh whatever it is, uh, microphone, whatever, and it will go ahead and let you record. So, you know, I haven't tried it. I actually do not have a microphone for it yet. 
But I just wanted, I mean, that's just one of the cooler features. I just wanted to let you guys see it. Anyway, okay, so the last thing I'm going to cover today. I'm sorry, this is kind of a short video, and I know everybody knows this stuff. But I had started it, and I wanted to go ahead and finish out showing you guys some 3.0 stuff. So I'll go ahead and finish it up with iTunes. Um, now, there are some actually some pretty substantial improvements to iTunes. When it loads, anyway. <laughs> there are some pretty nice uh, improvements. Um, the main thing, really, is that you can now download videos. Um, I know a lot of people were like, why can't you download videos? I mean, what's, you know, what's the deal? I mean, obviously you could download music before, and then not too long ago they added you could download podcasts, but you could not download videos. So, now, you can see that down bottom, second tab, click the videos, and now you can download all kinds of videos. Um, you can download music videos, you can download TV shows, and you can also download movies. Now, um... And the thing is, uh, I will note that this is for, uh, it really doesn't work over uh, a cell network. Um, just like with uh, iTunes, uh, with music, it's 10 megabytes is the max that you could download. Like, let's say if you're on a 3G or whatever, and you want to try to download something, anything from iTunes, music, videos, podcasts, whatever, 10 megabytes is your max. Any more than that, it'll just say, go get Wi-Fi. So, uh, you will need Wi-Fi. But you can see... You have the full, uh, you basically any kind of movie, whatever. And the thing is, like, let's say uh, Grand Torino. Let's take a look at that. Now, when you go in to buy one, obviously you can t take a look, and you can also watch preview. I won't even try that because, <laughs> like I said, this thing will glitch like crazy. Okay. Anyway, so uh, as I was saying, when you download a movie from iTunes, it will go ahead and download it in standard definition, regardless of whether you buy HD or not. And basically, the way it works is that when you hook up your iPod to iTunes. It will tell it basically that you bought it, and then it will go ahead and download the high def if you got it. Just something real quick. And like I said, there's a preview button right there. You can also rent it, just you know, just the same. It's basically the full featured iTunes vi video on your iPod. Anyway, let me just go real quick. Um, the price is the same, obviously. It's not like your. Um, I've had I've heard some problems with people trying to download, uh, download some bigger like like gig, a gig and a half and stuff on your iPod and stuff over Wi-Fi, it can be a little slow sometimes. I don't really, I have not really downloaded anything that big. All I've downloaded is just one single episode before, but I didn't have any problem. It downloaded just about as fast as, you know, just about as fast as on my computer. I really didn't tell any difference. Um, yeah, so you can go through, you can go through the TV shows and open up music videos. I mean, there's really nothing that special. It's just kind of, you know, something nice. And uh, one thing I will see is you see up top the free. You can go ahead and obviously download the free stuff as well. Um, it's, it's still kind of hard to find, just like in iTunes. There's no gigantic button flashing that says, hey, this is the free stuff. I mean, it's just, I don't know what they, I mean, that would be really cool if they added it in the more tab. But uh, while I'm speaking of the more tab, I would just note a couple of things real quick. Um iTunes U, you can now do that. I'll just go ahead and show you real quick. You can now download iTunes U videos and everything through uh, your iPod, which is very cool. I know a lot of people like that. And also, you can do uh, downloads. and just shows that I don't have any money. <laughs> and then the really cool thing is Redeem. Now, before it used to be if you had a uh, any kind of redeem, such as like a uh, iTunes card or promo codes, you had to get on iTunes and do all of it. From now, but right now, I can get right on the redeem, and uh, well, I'll give it a second to load, but go right on to redeem and then just punch in whatever code, whether it be for a promo code, uh, for or you know a gift card or whatever. And apparently, it's not going to load here, but uh, it will just yeah, right here. And then basically you just punch in the code, and then you know if you've got the code. So this is a really nice thing, where if you don't really have to go ahead and grab your computer and all like open up iTunes, you can do even more from just right from your device. Anyway, that's just about it, guys. Um, I'm sorry I drug drug this a little out, and also you guys probably knew all this pretty late on this. I just wanted to cover a little bit more of the 3.0. I know a lot of people are holding out on it, and it's just some something I just got wanted to get you guys out. Um, I know I've been obviously I'm jailbroken here and I'm I'm running 3.0. I'm happy with it, guys. I'm glad I, I I'm glad I went ahead and upgraded. Um, you know, I've heard some people having some problems with some of the jailbroken apps don't work right, everything. But in general, I'm really impressed with it.
Um, so you know, I mean, yeah, I don't, I really actually don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, you know, if you need any help, I just toss it out here real quick. If you need help upgrading to 3.0, I've got videos and showing how to jailbreak and everything. So, yeah, that's just about it. Catch you guys later. Hey guys, be sure to go check out Zizrick.com. We've got all kinds of iPhone and iTouch news, jailbreak tutorials, and lots of really good app reviews. In addition, be sure to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash blazingdreams. Thanks for watching.